Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Tristan from Tag Translations and Design, OP Localization and Translation. Today we're going to take another look at Weebly and some of the updates that it has provided us with. With which it has provided us. Yeah. Weebly is pretty cool, all things considered. It gives you a very powerful tool, and it's mostly free. In fact, if you want to be a little dishonest with the system, you can actually build an entire website on here for free, and then just move it on to your own need. I won't get into that, because I like Weebly, and they should probably get paid for all the hard work that they've done. But let's go ahead and take a look real quick at some of the new stuff that we can do on here. Basically, I just want to show you guys uh, two new things. First off, they have a whole bunch of new themes on here, which are pretty cool. I like the slick one, which you can see right here. And then the other neat thing that they've done is they've added apps. Woohoo! That's exciting. And I'll show you those here in just a second. So let's go ahead and pick a theme. We're going to go with Impact this time and choose the theme. Now, this is actually a site that I've kind of been messing around a little bit with. It's um, kind of like a cooking website, like recipes and stuff like that. Nothing serious, just something I wanted to play with in order to kind of get a feel for the new stuff here on Weebly without breaking anything on my other sites. So, like I said, we have all this fun stuff here. We can do all that other stuff like we could do before. Let's go ahead and head over here to our About. Computer's taking a little bit longer to load stuff up just because I have about a billion things running in the background. So I wanted to show you the apps. Uh, one other thing that they've updated recently is they kind of give everything a bit of a facelift. So you can see we have new tiles and stuff, and some of them are a little bit prettier than they used to be. We have this button right here that says Apps. So we click on the app button, and then this shows us apps that we can add to the site in order to increase functionality, in order to increase conversions, in order to increase whatever. It's pretty cool. So we have the uh, featured apps right here. If we want to see all the apps, we click on App Center, and here we go. We have marketing apps. We have different types of tools that we can add to this. We have communication apps, e-commerce apps, social apps, all kinds of neat stuff. Now, I've actually used some of these on other websites and then other systems. So, for example, this one right here is also pretty popular in Wix, and you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. You know, it does have a free version and everything. And what this does is it really, really helps you with your local SEO, your local search engine optimization. So if you're focusing on just one specific geographical area, so say you're a mechanic and you only service vehicles within a certain specific area, right? This is the tool that you would use because you're just going to be getting clients within that area that you've selected on here. So it gets you into Yelp, it gets you onto Google Maps, it gets you onto Bing Maps, it gets you into Yahoo Maps, it gets you into all those different things. So that when people look for something in your area, if you're the thing that they're looking for, they find you, which is pretty cool. In fact, I'm using this right now because we've decided to condense our translation efforts, um, marketing our translation, instead of focusing on this great big huge international area market, right? And so we're just gonna be focusing on three states here in the US that are very low population states. Um, they kind of get teased a lot. So we're looking at Idaho, Montana, and Utah. I'll probably get Wyoming too, just because I like Wyoming. And I grew up in this area, so I'm kind of partial to it. So uh, we'll definitely be using Site Booster to do that. And then of course we have some other things as well. We have a donor box so people can donate to a, a cause. They can donate to your blog, to your YouTube channel, whatever. And that's pretty cool as well. So. Like I said, you have a few options here as far as different things you can do. You can hit the more button and you'll see more of them. So here's a live chat. You put this onto your website and then whenever somebody comes to visit, you know how it has a little talk with a live person. That's what this is. So you can actually talk to people who are on your website. And that's really great for like um, any sort of small business where you're able to talk to people. If somebody just has a question they're looking to have answered, this is a great way to do it. It saves you a lot of time and it has a really, really high conversion rate too. Well, I'm going to show you how to add one of these apps to your website. So we're going to go with Map Jam, which is a really cool one that I'm wanting to play with. And here it tells you all about it. It tells you about pricing. It tells you about everything that it's supposed to do. It gives you a link to the official website. In reviews, if there are any. Now, because this is something still relatively new for Weebly, a lot of these don't have reviews yet. So keep that in mind. And to add it, we just hit this big add button right here. And then it's going to ask you to connect the app to your website. And this just basically means that you're able to modify things and to connect things from either the app interface or through the website interface. Just hit the connect button right here. 
and there's our map. Actually, it looks like it's already been installed. That's kind of neat. So if you want to add these maps to it, what you do is you grab your map tiles down here at the very bottom. It says third party. Just grab that, drop it in. Everything's going to run a little bit slower on my computer lately just because I have so much stuff open right now and I'm recording and recording and filming and everything else. Anyways, so you drag that in, drop it right here, and then you can make any adjustments to this that you would like. You can add content cards, heights, you can edit stuff, and that's how you set up your actual maps. So we actually don't want to do this because I don't know what kind of apps you guys are going to be using, but I like this one. So I'll delete that one. And then this is the one that I actually have kind of set up for us right now. And that's our map. So we can add notes to the maps. We can do all kinds of other stuff. And like I said, this is for this particular app. If you have other apps that you'd like to play with, check them out. A lot of them are free, and it doesn't hurt to experiment and to learn a little bit more about these different things that we can do. And adds a lot of functionality to our website, so we can do all kinds of things that we weren't able to do before. So apps aren't really anything new. I mean, if you work with... WordPress, you're probably very familiar with plugins. Um, a lot of these apps actually are very similar to the ones that are on Wix, which in fact is where I've played with a lot of these in the past. And honestly, I'm kind of excited that Weebly's added all this extra content because now we can do so much more with these websites. And so Weebly's kind of taken some of the parts that made things like Wix really good as far as customization and brought it into its awesome platform over here. And Wix has been doing some pretty interesting stuff too. And there's another video that you'll be able to watch here in just a minute that talks about some of the new updates that they've just announced. And my camera just died on me. So if you're looking to build yourself a website and you want something that's simple, you want something that works very effectively, that's probably the option that I would go with. I honestly really like Wheelie. It's probably my favorite web-based CMS and you can just do so much with it. And now we can do so much more. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video off here. And if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos in the future, don't forget you can subscribe and that way I'll show up in your subscription feed. And of course I have a whole bunch of other Weebly videos that you guys can take a look at to you know build blogs, build websites for your businesses, build e-commerce stores, all that kind of stuff. We talk about it. So again, my name is Tristan. I'm here from Tag Translations and Design, OP Localization and Translation. And I hope you have yourselves a great day. I will see you later. Peace.